They would not let you sit up front with the pilots? No. No, no. Can't do that. Besides that, I couldn't get up there. I don't know why you crawl over all that stuff and get up there. But anyway, they put them body boxes in there, and I they were going to take them from Malta back to where I'd come from, Naples, Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... We go back to Naples, Italy. Pretty long ways. And they got up high. And it was cold in that airplane. I mean, it was cold. Like a refrigerator, huh? Yeah. Me in khaki short sleeves on. And you didn't have a jacket? No. Up here at the top, there's a ductwork coming down the center of the airplane yeah. puts out heat. Right. But down here where I was at in the floor, it was cold. Right. So I said, well, shit, why don't I get up on top of the plywood up here with these bodies, body boxes, and I'll make the rest of the flight in that and I won't freeze to death. Right. So I did. I crawled up there. There I'm sitting up in there on that plywood was these body boxes, and uh, we go back to Naples, Italy. All right, we offload the body boxes in Naples for further transport to New York, and uh, then we turned around and we headed back to Suda Bay, and it was getting dark when I got there. The Suda Bay. Creek. Creek. C-R-E-T-E. -E. And uh, so right away, the ship was at anchor out. Wasn't a, wasn't a big port. They had a place, to, a little small pier, and all they had on base was a, a, a whole ice box there where they had cocos or some kind of weird drinks. You can get this one of them and buy it. So I didn't do that. I didn't waste time there. And I got on a boat. They sent a boat over there after me. And uh, I got on the boat. Here we go. Back to the ship. I finally get aboard my first aircraft carrier. So that was US, USS America. Yeah. That was the beginning of me being a chief petty officer. And how many days did on, it take on you? A, on an aircraft carrier. How many days do you think it took you? Three or four? Three, I mean, what? three or four days to get there from Jacksonville? No, it, it didn't take, no, it, it didn't, it didn't take uh, one day. All this was going on in one day. Everything you just talked about happened in one day. Yeah, because I left out, no, I left out of New York. In the daytime. Yeah. And when I got over there. Oh, okay. See, time backs up. You're going over there, time backs up. Uh-huh. You know, I, I forgot how many hours difference it is in time. About six hours or something. Though, but it kept the time backs up. And, you get there about the same time you leave New York. Okay. So then all this other stuff started. That's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I start out on the aircraft carrier, and they got 
lights got started. Uh, I think your cat walked in. So, anyway, I get started out being a chief petty officer on the aircraft here, and they signed me my living quarters and uh, got straightened out there and oh, got me a locker and all that stuff and put my stuff away. And then you had everybody underneath you in the boiler rooms and stuff? Yeah, in a certain group. Right. A certain. I had a number three What's machinery that? group. Yeah. You got four engines. Mm -hmm. You got Eight boilers. You got four boiler rooms with two boilers in each one. So I was I was in charge of number three boiler room. Uh, so you had three. You had three other chiefs. No, I didn't. I had. The I what? Had, you worked with three other chiefs because there's yeah, yeah four rooms yeah each one had a room yeah and personnel to oversee yeah those other chiefs were in charge of those other three ball rooms and then you graduated to your chief sleeping quarters then the chief then the chief petty officers have their own yeah. galley to eat in and yeah. their own sleeping quarters and yes That was my life for about, oh, I don't know, two years or so on, on that ship. Then I was transferred to another one. And that was the beginning of another about 11 years. What? Roosevelt? But. And then Saratoga. Nah. I forgot which one I went to. I think it was Saratoga. It might have been the Saratoga. Because you retired off the. Uh, America. Uh, Franklin D. Yeah, Franklin D. Number sixty-four. Hmm. Wasn't that a sixty-four? Sixty-four when I retired. No, the number of the carrier. You don't remember the number of the carrier? Which one? The one you retired off of. Sixty-four, sixty-six, wasn't it? Oh, Paul. Uh, uh. I don't know. My brain's done. I think I'm right. My brain's done. Wore out. All right. We'll calm down. Let's take a break, Einstein. <laughs>